What's up, my pilots? Thank you for watching. We're back playing 007 Nightfire, the marathon session of which I spoke last time. Failed to finish the game because it got way too late in the evening, and I, I simply had to go to bed and go to work the next day. And I, uh, <laughs> the last level I did, I screwed up so badly that it took me like an hour to record it. So that was part of what killed it, really. So uh, we are going to go back and do that level all over again. So I, I don't, this will be the only level in the game where I've had sort of a practice run. Although I don't know if you can really count dying over and over again a practice run. <laughs> I guess that's what they're for. So in this episode, we are going to infiltrate a nuclear power plant in the process of being decommissioned by Phoenix Industries. Whew! Man. We've decrypted the Nightfire files you secured last night, 007. They contain rather troubling data concerning a shutdown nuclear power plant not far from Tokyo. Phoenix Corporation has been contracted to cleanse the plant of radioactive material. We now suspect that massive amounts of construction have been secretly carried out inside the towers. What? Your mission is to infiltrate the plant and find out what Drake is hiding. Oh, get him. Get him. As always, 007. Best of luck. <laughs> they just walk up behind a sniper. That's what you get for not using your radar, man. You stay scoped in all the time, you never see him coming. Of course, dismantling a nuclear reactor is an incredibly delicate operation. And dangerous as well, yes? That is why we've invested in robot technology, like those forklifts. Apparently Bond has Insanely expensive. But keeping our people safe is important. And when our work is done, the beaches here will be clean enough for our children to swim and their grandfathers to fish. Ooh, grandfathers! Thank you, Mr. Drake. I appreciate the exclusive interview. And so do I. Scoring points with the Japanese crowd, bowing, mentioning elders. He's showing some respect right there. What a sly bastard. Interview's over, Mr. Rook. All snipers back in position. But so he's on the phone and he's on the radio? I guess. So this is the sniper level. Point a gun at an unsuspecting enemy's back to get him to surrender. Uh, you can do that. Or you can just shoot him. You get bond points for... Oh, I gotta hide. You get bond points for getting him to surrender, but I don't know who you're supposed to make surrender in this level, because I always just shoot people. So, the reason this level took me so many tries, and so long to finally complete this level, was that uh, these guys can be a little hard to find every now and then. One shot, one kill, no matter where you hit them, too, which is nice. But, uh... Intruder spotted. They're really hard to spot, and sometimes you'll clear off a ledge, and then like another guy will walk from around the corner and go stand in the same spot that the last guy was in. Which you might think would be making it easy, but really it's like, didn't I already kill him? What's going on here? Yeah, so there's four guys that are across the way here when you start. I believe that's all of them there. I think there's actually a fifth one who comes from around the corner. Now, if I remember correctly... Is there a man up there somewhere? I think I thought there was for a long time, and then it turned out I was mistaken. They don't move around much either, so you have to actually see them. They're not going to give themselves away. Alright, cool. Yeah, so if you remember from the previous recording session, uh, when I was talking about how free and hot it is in here, that is still the case. It is ridiculous. Uh, you get to use your laser- oh, that's not where I was aiming. Oh, oh, look at my wireless controller bugging out, that's fun. Hope that doesn't happen while I'm trying to use the sniper rifle. It'll make you oh, someone can see me. I think I know who it is. It's okay. I know where he's at. So I'll just pop up and get him. Intruder spotted down, man down! Yeah, you don't have to be really quick about it either. <laughs> They're not super awesome at, at getting you really quickly, so no worries there. Uh, sometimes there's a guy over there who comes around the corner. I guess he's not out yet. Alright, one last one last thing to cook here. I think you can dive down the hole on the other end as well, but this one's way better because he comes out behind you, buddy. And you get a bond moment for it. That's fun. But then as soon as you walk out, they immediately know you're here, which is kind of annoying. I thought that was another guy on the top of the floor. Whoa. So I've found that using the uh, Z aiming technique is the best way to to handle these kinds of situations, because you can actually hit things. You don't have to worry on the auto aim. Oh, got to reload. Should be more smart about that. 
Yeah, so the hardest part really is the aiming. These guys don't do a heck of a lot of damage to you, so if you keep moving... Oh, he's behind all this thin metal hole that protects him from bullets. Whew! Alright. So one of the objectives here is actually to, uh... Photograph the jetpack prototype, which is apparently this thing here. So, uh, check out this. This is hilarious. You can just... Just, like, zoom in and take, like, the shittiest picture of you, that you want of the wall. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we can make a jetpack from that photo. Good job, James. Bring back that really, ex really, uh, high-quality intel there. Like slide down a little chute here. And then for some reason, as soon as you walk out this back door... Take cover! Yeah, they already know you're there, even though you're... There's nobody who can see you. I've lost him! It's, it must be some kind of bug. Somebody, somebody right here can see through a wall, is what it is, I think, because... There's no way they could actually have spotted you when you're still inside. Uh, there's a guy... That's a gun. Just disappeared. Good timing. And there's a guy up there, I think. If I can... Lure him out. I don't see him. Alright. We'll go get him first. I think he's one of the ones you can actually make surrender if you're really creative. Oh! There's a ladder around here somewhere. He's in the uh, hang lost. I can't see him. Everybody's talking about where I'm at. Nobody knows! Alright. Where's this guy? That's what I wanna know. Where's he hiding? There he is. Stand still, sir. Oh, I missed him. I see him. Yes, tuck and roll. That will protect you from sni- Oh, there's my, my controller. <laughs> my controller acts up, it thinks I've let go of the trigger. And then it unscopes, which is really annoying. Alright, so where? There should be a robot around here somewhere. Yeah, uh, all, the, all the things I said about the previous recording session are still totally true. It is, like, my TV is not properly set up or something. Like, it's just, it doesn't look right. And I messed with it several times in between episodes. And I just could not, could not get it to be any better Whoop. than it was. So, uh, we'll have to just live with it. You go up here, you can drop down and get some more ammo. That's cool. So you can keep using your sniper the whole level without running out. Now this next bit... Oh, you wanna... Did I miss? Really? I'm gonna blow up these barrels before they do. Otherwise they try to kill you when you walk around the corner. I died from that one time. Right. I see now, oop, wait, what? Who sees me? Must be another guy on the ring up there. Yep. That was the guy... Well, where, that was where that one of those first guys we killed was. His buddy kinda came out from behind the corner or something. And there's guys down here too. These guys are just standing on the ground. This guy's on a forklift, I guess. Hey, did I not kill you? Oh no, you have a... See, that's what happens. You shoot a guy, and then another guy appears in the same place, and you're like, didn't I just shoot him? What's going on? Okay, what building is it we need to... Oh yeah, we actually need to make our way across on the ground down here. And... Oops, I'm sorry, we're still getting shot at. I know there's at least one guy that's still left around here somewhere. I forget where he is. We have full health and armor, so if he snipes us on a ladder, we'll, we'll, we'll live. And where was he? That's the question. I forget where he appears. I thought he was up on one of these somewhere. He's somewhere where he can see you when you're up here. But I'm not sure. I, I, was, never able, I was never able to find him. But, uh, he'll spot you on the second one of these two wires that you walk across. Intruder spotted! Yeah, actually, he sees me already. Damn. I don't know where he is. I want to know where he's hiding. Oh, there's more armor back here. But I'm still full on my previous armor. Maybe we can figure out where he is. Let's see if he can see me. Maybe he's... There he is! Yeah, I never found him before. I don't know what he's doing on the ground back there. That's a really bad place for a sniper to be. But, uh, apparently he's put there just so he can spot you when you come up here. And you won't know where the hell he's... Oh wait, I don't need to do this nonsense. Hang on. I'm going back. I ain't walking across that shit. Yeah, this part. Oh, that makes you look at the ground. This part you can just hop over here. <laughs> you don't need to use the wire for that. That's a little excessive. And then over here... Yeah. I like the background music in this level, though. And the atmosphere is really nice. It's nice and bright, so you can actually see what you're doing. It's like the animation of Bond sl sliding across those things is not actually that bad, either. Did I not hit it? Open the door. Excuse me? Oh, there we go. I was going to say, what's going on here? One down. 
There's another one on the second level in there. Hello, sir. I can still see you. Yeah, there's the one on the second level. Sniping from doorways. Probably generally not. But oh, I forgot what button was jump. I'm lucky I can just walk on air for a moment of time. I just walk right across that gap. I'm going to try and do this whole level pretty much with the sniper rifle. There's a portion later on that's pretty fun. Probably won't use the rifle for that. Alright, looks like we're good. Let's go! Is there another photo I have to take in here? No, I don't think so. This is one of those weird games where... Like, when you... Sorry? What? Oh, why would I want to go over here? Oh, there's armor. And... The guy's gun. Okay. Just a little armor pick up there. I didn't see that last time. I'm doing fairly well this time. Last recording session, by the time I got to here, I had died probably a dozen times. It was just bad. It was really bad. But uh, we're doing much better this time. Now this second part is the is much harder. I think it's the part uh, after. Yeah, I think it's right out here actually. This is this is it, I believe. This is the really hard part. It's ridiculous. Uh, and you can use, I don't know what the upgraded camera means, but any camera you can use, and it'll uh, put a little green icon around enemies. Squad 4, do you copy? Squad 4, what the hell's happening up there? They're all dead. Deploy the red team and take him down. Not the red team. Oh, no. All right, so this is the tough part. When you come out up here, you got this big open area here, and a lot of people are going to be shooting at you. So you need to stay in motion all the time. And you pretty much need to know where everybody is already in order to have much of a chance. He's out yet? He's not out. So it's his buddy over here that's shooting at me. Oh, he tucked and rolled and dodged the bullet! He's like in a superhero or something. Okay. Three down. That went fairly smoothly. Go ahead and grab the armor because you can't get back up here. And I like to jump down here. Shoot the guys in this room because they're like fish in a barrel. And a shot in the knee will totally kill them. Whoop. Oh, I'm getting shot up from somewhere else. Move. Did I not kill that last guy? No, I got him. Alright, cool. There's tons of ammo in here. And a, a locked door. I wonder if you can do anything about that. Engines or something? Doesn't seem like it. Strange. Anyway, pop back outside and get back in cover. I forget where the next guys start. Oh, start appearing, but wherever they are, they can see me. Over here. On the ground, are they? Oh, there's a guy over here, isn't there? On the forklift? No? I'm already forgetting where everybody is. Yeah, there's somebody over there. Oh, yeah, he's on the rim of that thing. It's these two guys. They are really far away, and they, they they know you're there, so they don't have any trouble shooting you as soon as you pop out from around a corner. I'm gonna take cover here, because I think one of the window guys might be here by now. Yep, there are three guys that appear in these windows over throughout the course of this area. Somebody still knows I'm around. Is there a guy on the roof over there? Let's see. No roof men yet. Anybody? Somebody sees me. Okay. This is what happens. It's like, ah, oh, I hear gunshots. I have no idea who's shooting at me or where they are. I don't. I thought there was another guy, but he's forklift. It's not. It's not be crazy. Is there a guy on the ground over there? I don't think so. Oh, okay, somebody sees me. That's for sure. And they're killing me. Not in the windows. Is he on top of the roof where I just checked? Yeah, they'll do that to you too. You'll look somewhere. And you'll see, you'll see nobody, and then they'll be like, "Hey, me spotted!" And there's a guy where you just looked. Like, where was he hiding? I don't know, man. You gotta climb this really long ladder, though. So you gotta kill all the snipers before you can try and go for this ladder, or they will definitely kill you. And then as soon as you get onto the top, there's four guys that pop out all at once, and you've gotta get get into cover. You wanna have any shot of killing them? So I usually hide right back here. I think one of the window men pops out at some point in this part. But more importantly, are these four guys who end up on the roof over there? The moment that you uh, get off of the ladder, four guys appear on the roof. Oh, 
Might be down in the window. Somebody can go from behind here. Oh shit. See, this is not easy. Alright, I'm gonna stay down here. Is there a window man shooting me? I've lost him. No, it's still the roof guys. They are nasty. They'll hit you hard and fast. Alright, I see where they are now. You gotta be quick in and out of cover. There we go. That's the four guys on the roof. They're the ones that are most likely to kill you because you've got no good cover up here. And let's see. Maybe hide behind this box. I see him. Oh, there's more people. Is there a guy on the roof up there? It's a fifth man on the roof. Oh, I'm low on health. This is not good. I hope I got everybody. I thought there'd be another window guy by now. That's embarrassing. I'm kind of afraid to walk out because I only ha I don't have enough health left to take a single more, a single other hit. All right, let's just hope that's everybody. I'm going for the long, long sidle here. <laughs> this is another part where you have to have everybody killed, or you're gonna get shot down. With no, no chance of making it. I feel like there's more guys in that window over there, and I think there's one that pops out when you're halfway across, which is kind of bullshit to be honest. Who who could see me on one side of this rope that couldn't see me on the other? A little bit, a little bit of shenanigans. I think there's armor over here somewhere. Oh, is that? Whoa, oh, oh, I thought I was gonna miss for a second there. What does this do? Oh, it turns the thing. Oh yeah, that's what we want to do. I'm gonna come around and climb on this. And it'll take you over here to the doorway where. I don't know why you would want to go over here, but I guess you can. Is there armor? That would be nice. I could use some armor for this next part. No. A checkpoint at least would be good. Okay. Can I grapple back? Oh my, that's far away. Am I going to have to... Is there a ladder here? Or do I got... Am I just going to die when I jump off? Oh, that's ridiculous. If I'm stuck up here, that's going to be really low. Alright, I don't see a way down. Maybe I can get that grapple point and move around a little more. Oh no, have I screwed myself by coming over here? Surely they wouldn't just make you leap to your death. Because I'm going to take enough fall damage that I would be dead after that jump. Maybe I can walk on this tiny little ledge over here. Oh, I can. Look at that. Wow. That was, that was uh, just uh, hoping and praying that would work. Oh man. I'm not going to checkpoint before this next area. Oh, I don't get armor. Sweet. We'll make it. We'll make it. He's gone inside. Yes, everyone now knows I'm inside. Thank you, sir. Oh, don't move around. I'm trying to shoot you. I guess in this situation, you would want to get the closest guys first, because they're going to be the ones who uh, can actually hit you with machine guns. Whereas the guys who are really far away will not have much luck. There's one. One in the corner. Where is he doing? Who do you think he's hiding behind? I don't know, man. Alright, get your grapple out. Grapple up here, and if you hold the trigger down, you can actually hang on to this for a long time. So you can just wait for it to come over. Just be go too early. Get off on it. I didn't I didn't think this was a bond moment, I thought this was the way you were supposed to do it. But there, there you go. That's the way I always did it as a kid. Gives you a height advantage to the rest of the area. What you want. Oh, controller being weird. Thought I saw a guy just there. Am I crazy? There he is. Shooting the leg. Oh, oh no, I got him. I thought it went between his legs for a second there. Oh, don't fall in that crack. Oh no, we're going back. Alright, that's not good. I don't want to go back. Can I make it? Can I make it? And he makes it. Alright, watch out now. I am the machine gun and I'm far too close to him. Alright, cool. Then you gotta use this thing. This is fun. I see him. He's probably gonna die in this area though. I don't have enough health. Let's see if I can pull, pull it off. It's basically a... Uh, I don't know what you call these. It's not a rail shooter. I guess it would be like one room in a rail shooter. You gotta keep looking back and forth too. They like to, I think they like to appear where, wherever it is you're not looking. Blow stuff up, yeah. Is there a guy back there? Oh, that's a sniper rifle. Oh my god. Stop it! I just want to break the door. 
Oh, I can't break the door yet. Where are you, sir? Damn. He's right, right in front of me, no wonder. I'm looking for sniper rifles to be far away. Intruder spotted. Man down, man down. Yeah, this is gonna be tough to do without getting hit again. This laser is pretty good, though. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it slices through people like crazy, so. Wait for this one guy who comes in the front left and is really close to you. Don't like him. I hit the door now? Yeah, alright. Let's blow the rest of these up. <laughs> I think that might be it. Alright. I'm breaking off. I want a picture of this too, I think. Let's see if I can just jig jig just take a photo of anything, it doesn't matter. Alright, move quick. But I was saying earlier, this is one of those weird games where it's faster to walk straight forward than it is to walk diagonally forward. Right shit, shit, just, just run, just run, dude. If I get hit again, I'm done. Ah, oh, alright! Woo! <laughs> Got out of there just in time. I only have one bullet left anyway. Alright! That was better than the first time. No deaths, as opposed to, like, 20 deaths. Maybe even more than 20. It was ridiculous. And the whole problem was that there were people sniping me, and I just couldn't find them. You look around, and you hear gunshots, but when they're that far away, you can't see the muzzle flash. So if you don't know where to look, you're screwed. Buana, buana. Kiko, where have you been? Trying to catch up with you. How did you get up here without? That's weird. You must be exhausted, James. What would you say to a little nap? What? I thought that meant we were gonna have sex. But she was a bad guy. Planet, planet. Who would have seen that coming, right? Oh, I just missed the gold medal. Man, if I'd played just a little bit faster, I probably would have gotten the gold medal. Man, I was hoping I could get a gold on that one. I was really close to gold. That's all right. I'm gonna save my code name get a better score for that level. Alright! Oh, we don't get to see what the bonus stuff at the end was. Oh, well, I'm sure we got a card or something. I might, I might actually edit that in from the other video. So I'll I'll put that in here. Whatever it was that we got at the end of beating the level the first time. There it is. Isn't it impressive? We got a card or something. I don't know. Anyway, in the next episode, we're going to do level Phoenix Fire, where we attempt to escape Kiko's trap, if you know what I mean. Thanks for watching. See you guys then.